speak to him. And he begins to tell me, he said, what is worse than death? And I said, Lord, what are you talking about? What in the world is worse than death? He brought to my remembrance, he said, do you remember in scripture, I said, the Lord, now he's all the way in the back. God ain't playing, y'all better get ready. He said, what is worse than death? I said, well, Lord, the penalty of the law was death. So I said, in the Old Testament, God, your attribute, before Jesus came, one of your attributes was obey the law or the penalty of death. But then when Jesus came on the scene, now we have grace. We can boldly go to the throne of grace to find help in the time of need because the lamb has been slain without spot nor blemish for one time and one time only. But then he says, he says, why didn't I kill Adam and Eve? If in the old, and y'all don't want to hear me, if the Old Testament was if you disobeyed, it was death. He said, well, why I didn't kill Adam and Eve? And he took me back to the scripture. He says, the reason why I didn't kill Adam and Eve, he says, banishment from my presence is worse than death. This is why when you get in a place where you can't feel God, you can't hear God, you don't know what he's doing. You don't know if he's working. You don't know if he ain't working. You get depressed. Even things go on in your body physically because you can't hear God. You can't feel his presence. It's like he's nowhere around and you're looking for him and you still can't find him. He says because fleeing away from my presence being out of my presence is worse than death. And he spoke to me. He says I could have just killed Adam and Eve and been over with it and created something new. I could have did them like I did in the flood when I only saved Noah and his sons. He says, but the worst thing was banishment from out of my presence. And if you look up the word presence in Hebrew, the word presence means Shekinah. So what happens is you'll say, well, God, you left me. But it's not God that has left you. The Lord spoke to me. He said, tell my people that your antenna is broke. He told me that it was 445 a.m. He said, tell my people that the connection between me and you is fuzzy. Come on, Pastor. He says our relationship is not instead of using an antenna that work, you use a aluminum foil. Trying to connect a connection. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Come on. And you're trying to get up and down from your couch. Trying to make a connection, but the picture is still fuzzy. Hallelujah. 